Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. In this video, we're going to tie a quill body jig nymph. Instead of using peacock strip quills, we're going to use a Canadian goose quill from Nature Spirit. And benefit of these is there's a lot more quills per per um, per package and about the same for the same price um, as strip peacock so if you're looking to economically tie some quill jigs this is a good good option they're a little fussier to work with but they make a great looking fly so we've got a tungsten jig hook in the vise or excuse me a jig hook in the vise with a tungsten bead on it and you can tie this pattern 14s, 16s, 18s. Um, a little tougher to tie on a 12, but you, you can make it work. Just because of the length of the quill, you only have so much room to work with. So what I'm going to do now is tie in my Coq de Leon tail. I'm using brown Coq de Leon. Just kind of measure it out, my tail length there. Tie that in, wrap back to the bend, there we go, and we're going to tie in our biot, and I want to tie the furry edge up and the nice waxy edge down. Tie that in. Wrap up about two thirds of the way to the bead. And just start wrapping that that quill. You should know right away if you if you've got it lined up right. If you're seeing a furry edge at the back of your, your wrap, you know you you got it tied in wrong, you have to flip it over. And you kind of pinch. pinch wrap that. So what I'm doing is just holding it in place with my left hand after each turn. Saves me from having to use a hackle plier. Get a really pretty barring with these goose biots. Just wrap one more time. Tie that off. Trim off the excess. Now, if you want to add some durability, those are pretty durable on their own. It's always a safe bet just to take and put on a nice thin coat of UV resin. Even that out with my Bodkin, and we'll hit that with a light. And I'll take some hair's mass dubbing for the thorax. You don't need a lot. Then I'll go ahead and whip finish. I like to add a hot spot to these flies. So have a bobbin with 
datum floss or bright orange 70 denier available. Tie it on behind the bead. Just make enough wraps that that hot spot's visible. And then whip finish. Probably a good idea to put just a little bit of head cement on that if you want it to be a little longer lasting. But there you go, you got a quill body tungsten jig with an alternative to strip peacock quills. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Thanks for watching.